Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Lao Tzu, the famous Chinese philosopher and the writer, had quoted that, quote, If you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present, unquote. Most of us tend not to pay attention to the present moment. Our mind tends to dwell in the past or linger in the future. The results are that we are not happy with our life. As we fail to be attentive to the present moment, we miss the opportunity to do the important works of our life. Well, if you are one of them, don't worry. Today's video will help you enjoy your life, become richer, and makes you more successful. We are going to learn some of the secrets from the book title, The Present, The Secret to Enjoying Your Work and Life Now, written by Spencer Johnson. After applying the teaching of the book in their life, many people have transformed their life beyond recognition. We will be discussing three life altering lessons in this video with the ambition that it will make your life much better more successful, more peaceful, and uh, more wealthy than ever. So watch the video till the end to learn the life transforming lesson. Before we begin, please like, share, and the comment on the video. Your like, share, and the comment motivate me to produce more video. So please do so. If you haven't subscribed the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Spencer Johnson is one of the most respected and beloved self-help authors in the world. His work has helped millions of his followers find how to utilize simple, profound truth that lead to less stress and more success at work and at home. He was known for the Value Tale series of children's books. He is also the writer of the best-selling self-help book, namely, Who Moved My Cheese? Yes or No? The Guide to Better Decision. He is also the co-author of the book The One Minute Manager with Ken Blanchard. The present is a thin book, but the value that the book imparts is humongous. We will try to extract three valuable classified lessons from the work in this video. The book contains 105 pages only. The book is based upon the conversation between two friends, namely Bill Green and Liz Michael. Liz Michael was experiencing what related colleague related and family related problem in life. In order to help Liz, Bill narrated the story of a young man who discovered a way to make his work and the life more enjoyable this day. After listening to the story and applying the principle of the story that was narrated by Bill, Liz was experiencing more peace more success and more health. The three important lessons from the story are Lesson number one, living in the present. We are all guilty of not living fully in the present. We often postpone living our life. Either we are brooding about our not so perfect past or worry about our future. We are unhappy in our life. If you want to be happy, then you must be fully alive in the present. It is called the present because of all the gifts you might receive, you will find this present is the most valuable of all. Remember that the present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive to it, you will see it. When you are fully engaged in what you are doing, your mind doesn't wander. Being in the present means focusing on what is happening right now. Remember those times in your life when you are fully attentive to the task at hand, when you successfully complete the task, the joy that you feel. You enjoy life and you are happier and more effective. It means appreciating the gift you are offered this day. If you make the best use of your present, you take care of the future very easily. Live every day being fully present in the present. You will definitely lead a rich, fulfilled, happy life. The second lesson is learn from the past. Everybody makes mistakes in their life. Do you know what separates the successful from the not so successful person? 
Most of the people live in their past, feeling sorry for the mistake that they had made. They blame themselves, they feel guilty, and they couldn't accept themselves. They didn't let go of the past mistake. Those who are successful also make mistakes like everybody else. They don't blame themselves or anybody else for the wrong, but they were able to learn from them. They did not talk as much about what was wrong. Once you truly learn from the past, it is much easier to enjoy the present. So learning from the past is a secret of a more fulfilled, happy and a rich life. Remember that pain is the difference between what is and what you want it to be. How can you learn from the past? If you are unhappy or having difficulty of letting go of your past, then there are certain things that you can do. Ask yourself the following question and the introspect on your life. The first question is, what had happened in the past? Second question is, what did I learn from it? If you haven't learned anything, then it will happen again in your life. So try to learn the teaching from it. Third question is, what can I do differently now? Once you learn the lesson, try not to repeat the mistake. The more you learn from the past, the fewer regrets you will have and the more time you will have in the present. Third lesson is, create a future that you desire. If you are anxious about your future, then this message is definitely for you. You need to create a better future, better than the present. It is as simple as that. A question must have come in your mind. How do you create a future that you desire? Just hold on a bit. The answer is to create a realistic plan to make it happen and to perform the thing diligently that will make it happen. If you want to know how to make a plan for a better future, then please leave a comment in the comment section. I will surely guide you how to make a plan for the life. Planning and doing something today to realize the desired future will reduce your fear and anxiety. This is so because you are actively taking steps toward future success. The more clearly you paint a sensible picture of the future you want and believe, it is easier to create a workable plan. According to you, what is success? Success means getting more of what you need, whatever you think is important. Success may change with time and age. To a young person, it may mean getting a dream job, driving a fast and a luxurious car, and a beautiful girl or a boyfriend. At all ages, it may mean loving more, loving more deeply, and being of greater service. With that note, I will end this video. Hope that you applied the lesson that had been discussed in this video. May you live a rich, happy, wealthy, and a fulfilled life. Thank you everyone for watching this video.